Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert. I'd like to show you a new piece of software that enables you to get your audio out of Final Cut X and into Pro Tools using uh, standard conversion tools. Now, obviously people are aware that Final Cut X, for a lot of people, really made workflows quite difficult in a pro environment. So this software aims to address that on an audio level. So I've got a piece of video in here that I did for Groove 3 some time ago. It's pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but the principles will be the same, whichever I show you. And what we have here is a dialogue and music. Here we go. And thanks for being with us. All and at the start here, the music starts louder. Hi, I'm Russ and I'm part. And then it ducks, uh, obviously, in the track there. So I'm doing that on purpose because I want to show you that uh, that stuff is carried across into Pro Tools. So it's pretty straightforward. What you do is you get your session once you've got what you want. And you need to do two exports, well one if you want, but two is uh, necessary normally if you just want to work with audio. Uh, you literally go back out to this window and you go export XML. Now what you can also do if you want as well, if you want the picture in as well when you're working on Pro Tools, then you would export the, or the picture, the share that as well, export the media, H264 is one option you can use and we can just go next and then when that's done while that is doing we can start doing some more of the magic so we can come over to x2 pro audio convert can either drag and drop or browse for the xml file so i browse to my desktop then i choose a drop location then it says convert non-pcm audio to either 16 or 24 bit well i'm in 24 bit anyway so i'm going to choose that start that does a quick bit of magic and it tells you if there's any stuff on there. So there's a vignette on there. Well, that doesn't matter because that's about video. So it says I can't export that. So in the meantime, we've also got the video coming out. And then in a second, that's all done. So we can just move that out of the way. File, open session. And there it is as an AAF. We'll bring that in, in the right stuff. Put it in there, save, take a second to load it. And then you get the import session data. So you could also, of course, use the import session data option uh, if you've already got a new session made. So we choose it all, choose where it goes. I'm saying new tracks, got dialogue and music. Now it splits stereo, the interleaved, back into mono. And if you want to bring them in and still have them, so left and right set, then you click that button there. Import clip gain and import volume automation. Simple as that, okay. Bang, there it is all in. Now, what you'll see straight away is because it was made up of three clips originally, it's brought those two in on one on one channel and these two on another. So what I can do very quickly is I can do some cleaning up. I can move those up there. So I don't need these music channels now. They can go hide and make those inactive. So Lots of demos on our site. But all we want to say is we love doing what we do. We're musicians, we're producers ourselves. So there we are. Now, another thing, the dialogue right now, I don't need a stereo version of that dialogue, so I can hide that or make that inactive as well. I can center that pad off. Lots of demos on our site. And what we can do as well now is we can import the video that's now in there. It's also brought in the original track we could use for reference, but I don't need it. Lots of demos on our site. But all we want to say is we love doing what we do. We're music. And now what I can do now is then start going through it in Pro Tools and. Hi, I'm Russ and I'm part of the team at Gru3. So we can then go through it and start uh, doing stuff. I could put some compression, for example, on there. Go in and, uh, as it say, put uh, compressor limiter on the voice. Put some uh, gentle compression. Daily. That's because they want you to have the full benefit. Now, one thing you'll notice as well is because these are three clips, and I had a chat with the guys over at x to pro to talk about this, is these are exported as three different clips. Because that has volume automation, I can show you that as well. Just drop that lane down. And that has volume automation. This one was a gain change, which was pulled down within Final Cut X. Now, what then happens is it sees that as gain. Uh, so what you might want to do, you could basically kill that and kill that one and then return this up to zero dB and we would have uh, three clips all the same and there shouldn't be any problems with that, so. They know how to use the gear to its Oops, that was my clicking. Oh. 
Sometimes the smart tool is more trouble than it's worth. Or a hundred thousand dollars on gear, but unless you so you could do that instead. It, wasted your investment, and that's why we. And basically, you need to do that on a stereo pair. Now, the other trick you can do as well, and I do this now. I bring these in. If they're coming in pairs, I find it slightly irritating. So what you can do instead, you can get track new, create a stereo pair, stereo channel, move it there, call it uh, music. Uh, grab these guys. Just pull them down and now you have a stereo version you can then hide those two as well so there's a little bit of cleaning you need to do uh, but on the whole a lot better than it used to be hi i'm russ and i'm part and there's of the, the automation working three. if you're new to groove three then welcome if you've been with us since and when you've got everything you want and when you've done your entire mix you just bounce it out as a stereo pair and then you just drag and drop it back into final cut across the timeline and you have a pretty good solution for working between Pro Tools and Final Cut. And so I think it's £69.99, so it's a pretty cool plugin. Uh, it's a shame that wasn't in Final Cut in the first place, but that's a different discussion. But for those who want to work between Final Cut X and Pro Tools, this is a great solution. So uh, I'm giving it my thumbs up. Uh, well worth checking out. Check it out in the App Store and uh, see what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.